Hello there, in this video I'm going to review the Obsbot Tiny 4K webcam. This currently retails at $269, which is the more expensive end of the webcam market, but as you are about to see in this video, this webcam is absolutely superb quality, and it's got some absolutely astounding features on it. The main one being that this is actually an AI-powered auto-tracking webcam that's in obviously 4k if you do sort of any regular presenting or you have to do meetings at work and you want to look more professional this camera is really going to be up your street i think and this camera is compatible with windows and mac which is always a good thing because i actually use both in my work and uh, in my personal life as well but if you want a full list of the kind of minimum requirements of this camera because obviously processing 4K video isn't for very, very slow old computers. If you want a full list of supported systems, check out their website, and I will leave a link to their social media down below um, in case you want to get more details. Before we actually demonstrate this camera and look at the quality of the image, we'll just take a look at the packaging and the product itself. So let's open the box. Oh, I love a box that opens like that satisfying probably don't open it like that though because it might damage the camera <laughs> anyway inside there is this little packet here which contains instructions i did just look through the instructions but the camera is actually fairly self-explanatory the ai gesture control so you can actually control this with your hands believe it or not you might want to read the instructions there are a couple of commands but i will demonstrate them to you in this video anyway let's get all this stuff out of the way because actually this is quite something to behold, really. This carry case is sturdy, so you're not gonna damage your $269 camera. Zip here to get the thing open, and a little carry handle at the top. Let's open it up and see what you get. So immediately you can see the camera itself. Let me just show you that in a bit more detail. I mean, it's got a nice weight to it. It is a solid, good quality, Bit of equipment this uh, first things it's got motion like that and it also rotates like that as well so that it can track faces on the back here we've got the usb-c for charging and also for data transfer but if your usb-c doesn't support charging there is also um, a 5 volt dc on the bottom of the camera there is a standard tripod mount as well but you probably want to mount this to your laptop or to the back of your computer screen. So they do give you this mount here, which is magnetic. You would stick this to the back of your screen and then kind of clamp it on there like that. So this camera actually has a Sony sensor in it. And as I've said, it's 4K and that's 4K at 30 frames a second and 60 frames a second at 180p or full HD, as you might know it. And if we look in here, we've got a USB-C cable, a five volt charging cable, and we've got a little adapter as well that looks to be USB-C to USB. The beauty of this is in its functionality. So let's do the nice, exciting thing of removing the plastic from the front of the lens. And uh, let's actually demonstrate this camera. And I've just stuck the camera to the back of my laptop and I can confirm this little mount thing they give you is a sort of re-stickable um, sticky surface so you could stick it a few times on different things you probably want more likely to want to permanently mount this to a computer so now it's on immediately you can see we've got this green light which means that everything's okay we can if we want go into privacy mode and just turn it like that that turns the camera off it's got an auto sleep function as well so if it's not in use eventually it will turn off anyway we want to turn it on and i'll stuck that back on so i can have the pleasure of removing that again so there we go i am that weird now there's actually a reason i'm filming this at night usually i film my videos during the day that is because most cameras perform pretty badly at night because the sensors just aren't sensitive enough to light and you can see even with this iphone camera this is an iphone 10 i think or maybe 11 something like that um it's a bit grainy it's not a wonderful picture let's see what the camera on my mac is like well 
it's not great, is it? Um, you can see it's really quite pixelated. Uh, colors are a bit drab. It's really struggling in this light. Yeah, it does look better if you've got sunlight directly on your face, but this is a bit naff. So let's take a look at the Obsbot camera. Select it from up here, and uh, hopefully you can see that instantly the picture is a thousand times better. Um, unfortunately, my screen is filthy. Um, <laughs> sorry about that, maybe I should have cleaned it. But even despite my incredibly filthy computer screen, the, Im it, the quality is night and day. High resolution, smooth. That's despite having, in the corner of the room, a light source, which could have made me appear really shaded, but it hasn't. And can you see that little dot there and that little dot there, if I can get my iPhone to focus? Mm -hmm. Can't really. Anyway, uh, those are the bi-directional microphones that have a distance of up to three meters. Let me just demonstrate a really cool thing. In fact, maybe I'll just use this camera to try and show you. At the moment, it's green. But if I put my hands up, it starts trying to do gesture recognition and it goes blue. And why is that? Why is it doing that? Because if I do this, let me try and do both at the same time, it basically detects my hand and it uses that to work out where my face is. Um, so now it's actually tracking my face. So if there were multiple people in the picture and you wanted to change the focus from person to person, and because it does face focusing as well, so that your face is in focus, not the background. Well, that means that I can actually go over here and it actually follows me. I can go back again. I can kind of slouch back. So imagine, oh, you can see my stomach. Maybe the slouching back feature isn't so good. Imagine you're in a meeting and you're quite an expressive person. You might lean back a lot. Uh, if you're giving a lecture and you're sort of person who walks uh, around a room, let me demonstrate that. I hope my, oh, I don't think my trousers, I've just had fish and chips for dinner. I'm quite full. But so I think I undid my button here, but um, probably shouldn't have told you that, I could have just kept quiet, couldn't I? So imagine, you know, I can go, right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my TED Talk, which is on the OBSBOT webcam, 4K webcam, and it's AI tracking stuff, what it does. And I need you to remember this. That's right, it's very important. Because obviously the camera is 4K, when you zoom in, you still get a high quality, high resolution HD image. So really, compared to my, and you can see it responds really quickly as well, compared to the camera on my Mac, I just, I can't get over the quality. Now they haven't paid me for this video, I will say that. They've sent me this camera, which is quite an expensive item. But I don't have to be nice about it. And actually, I don't think I even need to be nice about it, do I really? Because look, it is self-evident that this camera is good. All this footage is shot at night, which is the kind of worst you're going to see the camera, really. So here is some footage of me during the day. Doesn't it look even better? OK, so if I use my hand gesture, it will find my face and focus on it. And this is filmed during the day. You can see the picture quality is even better in the day. How far around can I actually go? I mean, that's pretty... You're never going to want to go that far, <laughs> are you? So this is the Obsbot TinyCam software. You can see we're connected. We've got an AI tracking lock here. So tap lock, what does that actually do? It's locked onto my face by the looks of it. We've also got the digital zoom as well. So there's up to four times digital zoom and it still looks really good. Isn't that great? There we go, and back out to one. We can control the gimbal using uh, this little joy pad here. Woo, that's... And then we get some more advanced things around here. It looks like we can make some um, preset positions. So if we know the camera is gonna need to point at a specific place in the room, we can create those as um, presets. We've got the time for the device sleep. We've got the gesture control for zoom. So we've got different tracking modes. One of them is headroom mode. This is basically gives you a bit more room around your head when it's tracking your head so that you kind of, you've got a bit more freedom to move up and down and you kind of just nicely framed in the picture or standard mode, which is what you've seen already. 
the camera settings, all the exposure, HDR, contrast, saturation, sharpness, etc. Flicker, if you've got bulbs in the room that are showing up as flickering on the uh, image, you can cancel that out with this anti-flicker. The level of control is astounding and you would expect it for a camera of, oh, it's fallen asleep because I'm not using it. But, you know, you would expect that level of control for a camera of this price range. Um, but as I say, I haven't actually needed to touch any of these settings. It's just worked really well out of the box. So that's just a selection. I'm not going to go through every single feature. That's just... So as you can see, the Obsbot Tiny 4K is an excellent webcam with some pretty cool features on it. So if you're in the market for a premium webcam, then I'll leave a link to this down below. Check it out for yourself. It's not a commission link for me. I won't make any cash from this. So buy with impunity. Thank you to my law patrons who are scrolling down the screen now, especially George Foote, Jim McKay, Jennifer Jones, Samir Al Amar, and Rob Van Eden, who are extremely generous patrons. Thank you very much indeed. Do subscribe if you enjoy my videos and be sure to click the bell icon so you get notified when I upload a video. And um, goodbye.